Welcome back, Ceramics 2. For this lesson, uh, sometime during Ceramics 2, I'm going to have you make a texture block that looks kind of like this. You're going to make it for yourself. It's going to be your own design so that you can kind of uh, add texture into your work and it can be a little bit more personal. So um, as you remember from Ceramics 1, uh, clay is really plastic and as you push something into the surface it makes you know a dot or a whatever it's going to impress that texture into the surface so our goal for ceramics too is that you're kind of finding your own vision and your own voice as an artist so one way that you can do that is start working with creating your own textures to impress so what we're going to do is I'm going to have a bunch of these blocks that are just kind of all standard size. They'll have a hole in them so we can hang them up in the room. Um, and then you're going to design the pattern. Now you can put pattern on both sides and you can put it on the edges as well and even the base there if you want. So if you look at this example that I've got, there's like one design here, a different design on each side. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to pick your own design to make and then we'll have a couple hot glue guns out so that you can hot glue over the lines and designs that you've decided to make. So here's just a pre-drawn out um, design that I've got. Uh, so take a pencil and you can just draw your design. So if I uh, come on to this one here and I say, well, I want to start with some nice circles and make uh, two circles and then have the staggered pattern of like three circles underneath that. Now you could get pretty detailed with this or you could leave it be a little bit um, rougher since this is kind of for, the idea is this is for pottery, you know, to bring a little interest to your throne forms. Uh, but you could use it for, um, for doing uh, hand building as well if you want. So there's just a simple pattern that I've started. And you're going to have to find a place to plug the hot glue guns in. I recommend that main silver uh, colored counter in the ceramics room because there's some plugs underneath there. Uh, and then you can work. Please put out some paper towels so that if you dribble the hot glue, we don't have to like scrape it off the countertop. All right. Then as you get started, uh, depending on the hot glue gun, some of them work a little better than others. But, you know, press that hot glue into the back as you work. Um, and you're just gonna trace right over your design. Whoa. You're gonna trace over that design. And try to make it as tidy as you can. Sometimes the hot glue is a little pesky because it will wanna dribble and make little like flare ups. Do be careful, the hot glue is super hot and it will burn your skin and give you a blister, like a three degree burn. So do please be careful with it. But being high schoolers, I assume that you're uh, capable of working with it. So there's just an example. You can kind of still see the pencil through, but you can see those little raised bumps, okay? So what you'll do is you'll just finish your design. You'll hot glue your design in. You'll, of course, let it dry and set up so that it doesn't get damaged as you touch it or move it. So we'll just set this one aside for the moment and go back to this example here. So this is the example that's dried. Um, then with your clay, as you get done with a work on the wheel, you can then take your design and press it into the surface of your pot. Now these could be used, you know, having one side and planning out that you're gonna use the second side for a pattern next to it and then flipping it over and you know using that to create kind of a pattern that's you know going to be on your work and be kind of almost your signature idea okay so uh, make sure you fill out the plan sheet come up with some designs that you f think are interesting and unique and then you'll grab your block draw it out on the block hot glue over the top of your lines. And if you want to put your name on this one and keep it for the semester, you can. And then at the end of the semester, we'll kind of donate them all to the classroom. Okay, or feel free to share these with your uh, colleagues in the classroom. And then the more we can share, the more we have a variety of different fun 
things to make patterns and textures with in our pottery. Okay, so thanks for joining me and I'll see you in class.